suis tellement content de vous voir. On ne s'est pas vu pendant deux ans. Et là, ce soir, on est tous ensemble pour se dire qu'on est fiers d'être Québécois. So here, Alex, I've already been using them at Place des Arts today because I'm curious to know if the people are satisfied with the management of the government logo since the election is coming up on the 3rd of October. So we just asked this question to the people and as well, like, uh, what is the best and the worst thing that you have done so far here in Quebec? We are committing, committed, sorry, we are in the position to ask ourselves some questions. When we saw that the survey company, it's this, always the same company that the mainstream media is using. So when we see the percentage of the satisfaction, or example, when they, they are surveyed about the mask, if the people wanted to keep the mask and we reached 70% of the people wanted it, and now we can observe that, most of the people are not wearing it anymore. Recently, the Leger Marketing have shown uh, a survey about the next election, and we can see that people are agreeing with 40% of support of La CAC when we look at other parties are really low. So is it really representing the reality? We'll know in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm asking people today if they are satisfied with the management of uh, Mr. François Legault. Oh, that's a big question and we usually talk about politics. Um, I'm not sure about uh, how like Monsieur Legault does his things. Like we know there are problems with the lodgement and uh, every appointment and he gives money to like Airbnb. And I'm just like, I'm not sure how he does his things and they are things that are more important uh, to do than just like give money to big people, just like Montreal people has to get some help from the government and that's not what he does. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mention anything on that matter. Oh, OK. Sorry. OK, thank you. Je demande aux gens si sont satisfaits avec la gestion du gouvernement Legault de, depuis les deux dernières années. Oh, je préfère pas non? répondre, mais merci. Merci à toi. Bon, oui, moi, je suis très, très, très satisfait. Oui, oui? très bon. Je commence à être plus ou moins tanné de lui. Anyway, tout le monde, dans ma tête, tout le monde qui est en pouvoir, on est là pour leur bâcher dessus à quelque part. Hein. <rire> on n'a jamais été satisfait à un moment donné, donc... Euh... Numéro un. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm asking people if they are satisfied with the management of the government of Mr. Legault. Um, not really. Yeah, why? Yeah. Uh, I think he made too much. Mm -hmm. He was too frontal, I guess. Mm -hmm. He... I mean, I think he he didn't really like follow the science, like he says. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons, yeah. Yeah, I think it, there's more important thing than than money and yeah. health and and uh, social accessibilities for for people that need housing or healthcare or uh, psychological health. Uh, there's a lot of uh, debt and lacking in psychological and social health that is accessible for people since COVID. So I think there's a lot of work to do and. De façon générale, je dirais que oui. Euh, ça n'a pas été évident de gérer une crise, euh, pandémie. Et bon, il y a eu des erreurs, c'était un peu à tâtons, mais compte tenu de, de ce qui s'est passé ailleurs dans le monde, on s'en est bien sorti. Not bad. It can be better, but it can be worse. Mm -hmm. Well, I am satisfied. Yeah? Why? Well, generally, he does his job and that's all. Well. What is the worst thing that he's done so far, you think? Something that touched me personally is like how he treated immigrants, like people who doesn't speak French, and he doesn't know to how like things works. For example, when he said the, the apartment cost, what, five, $500, I'm just like, what are you doing here? Are you really knowing what's going on in here? So that's it. If you ask me the worst, Ça a été dur pour les restaurants. Mm -hmm. À part de ça, c'est bien. Forgetting to listen to his community is the worst thing he's done. 
Euh, ben, c'est de ne pas avoir vu euh, la catastrophe dans les CHSLD. Ça, c'était assez prévisible. Euh, la pire chose, peut-être chez euh, les spécialistes, qui étaient supposés d'enlever un milliard, mm -hmm. puis rien fait. Il a rien fait. Ça, ça pourrait être la pire chose. Concernant le passeport vaccinal, là, euh, obligeant des gens qui ont un certain emploi à se faire vacciner ou non, puis des choses comme ça, je pense que ne s'est pas fait aimer pour ça. Je pense que le vaccin passeport était le pire avec la pandémie et tout. Je pense que c'était l'un des pires. Oui. Je sais que les gens qui ont été ajoutés à la fumée par le fait by claiming that the Bill 96 will prevent English-speaking Quebecers from receiving health care services in English. Are you going to vote for him? Not, nope, uh, I won't. Are you going to vote for him? No. <laughs> Absolutely not, but I am going to vote. J'ai pas encore fait mon choix. Parce qu'étant donné qu'il va, il risque de passer, on va peut-être se faire plaisir à voter pour ce qu'on a envie plutôt que stratégiquement. Mm -hmm. Allez-vous voter pour lui? Oh, je suis en questionnement. <rire> <rire> Allez-vous voter pour lui? Oui, certainement. Merci beaucoup. Allez-vous voter pour lui? Non, non, je pense pas. Non, j'aimerais plus... Euh, peut-être plus qu'il aurait pu faire plus pour l'environnement. Les choses se passent dans l'ombre, souvent. Are you going to vote for him? Probably. Yeah. Because they have no choice. Uh, every election, they have no choice. Are you going to vote for him? No, 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 no. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. So are you going to vote for Mr. Legault? Oh, it depends. I, I, uh, when the elections come, I, uh, I think about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. For, a start, uh, for the moment, I don't know. So, as you know, The election in Quebec is coming up, and if you want to see everything about the election in Quebec, you can do so at quebecelection.ca, and as well, you can chip in, and so you will encourage our journalism. Thank you very much.